your name, so just one, two, three, four, and the role you're playing. Is that alright? Yep. Um, oh, it doesn't nice. matter. So okay, uh, three, two, one. Uh, Jacob Upright, candidate number one, two, three, four. I'll be playing the role of Mrs. Johnson. Candidate name Eleanor Lewis, candidate number one, zero, zero, zero. And I'm playing Mrs. Lyons. child. And we could have managed, but not with two. The welfare, they've already been on to me. They say I'm incapable of controlling the kids I've already got. They say I should put some of them into care. But I won't. I love the bones of every one of them. I'll even love these two when they come along. But like I say at the welfare, kids can't live on love alone. You're expecting twins. Give one to me. What? Give one of them to me. Give give one to you. Yes, yes. But you can't just. Well, what do you do? Um. Well, about all of us. Quickly, quickly, tell me. What do you do? July. He said the beginning of. July, and my husband doesn't get back until the middle of July. He need never guess. Oh, it's mad! Oh, I'm limited. It, it's mad, but it's wonderful. It's perfect. Look, you're what, four months pregnant, and you're only just beginning to show. So, so I'm four months pregnant, and I'm only just beginning to show. Look, I, I could have got pregnant just before you went away, but I didn't want to worry him whilst he was away. But, and then when he gets back, I can tell him that we were wrong, the doctors were wrong. I would have a baby, our baby. Mrs. Johnson, it will work. Oh, Mrs. Lyons, you can't be serious! You said yourself you had too many children already. Yeah, but... I don't know if I want to give one away. Already you're being threatened by the welfare people. Mrs. Johnson, with two more children, how could you possibly avoid some of them being put into care? Surely it would be better to give one to me. Look, at least if he was with me, you'd be able to see him every day as you came to work. Please, Mrs. Johnson. Please. Are you... Are you that desperate to have a baby? Mrs. Johnston? Mrs. Johnston, would you come out here for a moment, please? Yes. Uh, sit down. Richard and I have been talking, and, well, the thing is, we both think it would be better if you left. Left? Where? It's your work. Your work has deteriorated. Mm, but I work the way I've always worked. Well, I'm sorry, we're not satisfied. What am I going to do? How are we going to live without my job? Uh, yes, we've thought of that. Um, here's... I know it's a lot of money, but, well... Okay. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Lyons. All right. But but if I'm going, I'm taking my son with me. I'm taking. No, you're not. Edward is my son. Mine. I'll tell someone. I'll bring the police in. No, no, you won't. You gave your baby away. Don't you realise what a crime that is? You'll be locked up. You sold your baby. No. No, I didn't. You said, you said I could see him every day. Well, I'll tell someone. No, you'll tell nobody. Because, because if you do, and these children learn of the truth, then you know what will happen, don't you? You know what they say about twins secretly parted, don't you? What? What? They, they say that if either twin learns that he was once part of a pair, then they shall both immediately die. It means, Mrs. Johnston, that these two children will grow up unaware of the other's existence, never being told what was once the truth. 
You won't tell anyone, Mrs. Johnston, because if you do, you will kill them. Well done, group six. That was really well done. Um,